Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it, we finally knocked out the 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby. 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby Dual Case Break. 24 total boxes. It's gonna be a long break, but uh, thanks for uh, thanks for filling it. Thanks for sticking sticking with me on this. Thanks for your patience on this. I know it's been marinating on the site for a little while. No vet common ship, no combos as well. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spot straight up. Congrats again to the people who won their way in in those filler packs. And thanks to the thanks to the people who bought the last three full spots. We got some insurance for the last three. I, ne I needed to get this break across the finish line. I said, hey, last three spots taken. We'll get $40 of break credit if you do not get a single autograph. It's gonna be difficult. There's a lot of autographs in here. But if for whatever reason you get zero autographs, I'll send you $40 of break credit back Chris, Chad, and Victor. Thanks for taking me up on that. All right, again, all 30 teams are in. Let's do it, let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams five and a three, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Got Bob down to Victor. Victor also has last spot mojo. Five and a three, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There will be a brief trade window. All right, Blue Jays down to Angels. And here's how it shakes out. Bob, you got the Blue Jays, Eugene with the Mets, Mark with the Orioles, Jared with the Phillies, Eugene with the Cubs, Bob with the Mariners, Joe with the Diamondbacks, David with the A's, Mark with the Nats, Chris with the White Sox, Darren with the Yankees, Capola with the Marlins, Cassandra with the Cardinals, David, you got my Dodgers, Joe with the Pirates, Victor with the Reds, Joe with the Rangers, Simon with the Guardians, Chris with the Brewers, Devin with the Giants, Simon with the Astros, Eugene with the Red Sox, uh, Chris with the Royals, Barry with the Twins, David with the Tigers, Stephen K with the Rockies, Allen with the Rays, Chad with the Padres, David with the Braves, and Victor with the Halos, the Los Angeles Angels of California in Anaheim. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're gonna pause the video for a little bit to open up the trade window. Uh, when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then we'll break. So stick around, we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, everybody. Yeah, hopefully we'll have some. Uh, well, I'll do a recap at the end of the video, Alan and everybody. So autograph recap. So you'll have a. You can just skip to the end to see if you got anything cool. All right, so trade window closed. There's everybody right there. Thanks everyone for getting in. Um. Who had official last bot mojo on this? Mark, you have official last bot mojo. You took the last full, no, sorry, not Mark. It was, sorry, Mark, I'm all over the place. It was Victor. Oh, right, because Victor has something else now. Victor has an insurance spot. All right, that's the actual one. All right, anyway, let's go. Good luck, everyone. Got a long ways to go, so settle in. Right, for, for the teams that aren't as desirable, yeah, this the low number a low numbered card is really the only hope here. But we've got a lot of cards to work through, so hopefully that'll be. Hopefully that'll be the case. There it is, blast from the past. 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball, two autos per box, I think on average. Pete Alonzo, Aaron Judge on the box. East Coast Bias. And away we go. Uh, 
what's going on in baseball today? Let's, we, we can whip through the scoreboard as I'm ripping open some packs. I think uh, Red, White Sox lose their one million straight. Red Sox beat them 14 to two, 24 hits by the Red Sox to the White Sox four. This might be a low point for the White Sox and an error for the White Sox as well. Rockies edge out the Cardinals three to two. Toglia, Blackman driving in runs for the Rockies. Uh, Reds beat the Cubs eight to four. Ellie Dela Cruz, a three run homer. Braves beat the Nats five to two. Marcelo Zuna, a two run homer. Freddie Freeman had a three run homer. Dodgers, uh, Dodgers beat the Pirates 11 to seven, avoiding the sweep. Uh, Mariners shut out the A's, two hit the A's, three nothing. Garver with a homer. Only, only, only Chad Doc could complain about a 36, his 36 win Mariners. Mariners baseball is hard to watch. It would help they suck, but they're still winning. Just enjoy it, Chad. Enjoy the 36 wins. It's only three fewer than my Dodgers. Royals beat the Guardians four to three. Kyle Isbell with a go-ahead RBI. Blue Jays, well, a little bird on bird action here. Blue Jays beat the Orioles six to five. Vlad Jr. with a three run homer. And we got some games of progress. Have they really? Why? Why is who? What's what's going on with Julio Rodriguez? Box one, away we go. And an autograph, Travis Demerit, rookie auto for the Tigers, that's for David. Chris Archer, orange to 25. I'll sleeve those up later, just in the interest of time. So vet commons won't ship. So obviously anything rookie badge will ship. So that's a veteran common. That will not ship. That won't ship. That won't ship. But this will ship. Travis Lankins. Some blast from the past here. Eugene with the Red Sox. So what? So what's what's going on? They got the worst batting average of the league. They still win. They strike out, don't score, but they, it's their pitching that's keeping them afloat. What's going on? Are we got to fire the hitting coach or something? There's a rookie, Bo Bichette. Dustin May, rookie refractor for the Dodgers. Some die cuts right here. Aristides Aquino was, I think, supposed to be like the next big deal, but just shined really bright and then burned out. There's another Bo Bichette rookie card. It's pretty good. Get these hyper parallels. Well, I mean, Julio Rodriguez had like 30 homers last year, didn't he?
feel like Seattle didn't really do too much to it. To I think everyone knew the pitching was solid, but I feel like they didn't really do much to answer. You know, maybe put some hitting protection around Julio Rodriguez or address some offensive their offensive needs. There are still a few games in progress. I think the Diamondbacks are leading the Padres three to one, bottom of the fifth. And uh, the Twins Yankees game is all almost over. Yankees are leading eight to five. I think I was on the Twins tonight. Couple rough, uh, couple rough baseball investing days for me. Seattle's where hitting goes to die, but, but, I feel like Julio Rodriguez was did hit, and now he's not hitting. Did that some somehow? He woke up this year, this season, and was like, oh wait, I'm in Seattle. I'm not supposed to hit, even though I did the la the two years pr prior. Our additions, quote unquote, Jorge Polanco, hurt and trash when he plays. Mitch Garver, who's a jag, just a guy. Mm. What what are the rumblings for their for, for the trade window? Trade deadline. They gotta do something, right? Gotta be some hitters out there on on bad teams that could be snapped up. All right, autograph coming up. Looks like it's an Oriole. Looks like it's Hunter Harvey. Rookie auto, little color match, orange parallel to twenty five. That's going to be for Mark and the Baltimore Orioles. Twenty one out of twenty five. Part of the issue owner is cheap. Mm, that'll do it too. Uh, is it time to pop a dome on that stadium? Does your stadium dome? Here's another autograph coming up. That is a tiny autograph by Abraham Toro. Blink and you might miss it. Astro, Simon with the Strohs. Ken Griffey Jr. could hit, but that was in a dome. So maybe that's the key. We keep the dome closed. Oh, the, it does close. Uh, 25, Chris Paddock. So then what's 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 going on? Chris Paddock to 25, Padres that'll go to Chad. There's a Jordan Alvarez that'll go to the Astros, that's for Simon. Freshman Flash, Jordan Alvarez, Bo Bichette, Hyper. They could hit when Edgar was a hitting coach. Why is he not the hitting coach anymore? Maybe it's going back to what Victor is saying, that Ownership too cheap to hire good coaches, good coaching.
Well, let's take a look at some, some odds here. I think we... I don't think much has changed in these two races, but let's see. Uh, AL Rookie of the Year odds. Who do you think is the favorite, according to the bookmakers? The favorite is plus 115. That's at Caesars, I think, or MGM. I think it's MGM. MGM has him plus 115. DraftKings has him at plus 100. FanDuel has this player at minus 135. AL Rookie of the Year. Who do you think the favorite is? I'll tell you who it's not. It's not Mason Miller, who is at plus 370. It's not Willier Abreu, plus 650. Not Colton Cowser, plus 950. Yeah, it's Luis Gill, or, or Hill, I think. I heard the Yankees announcer pronounce it that way. Yeah. The pitcher, plus 115. Is it time to dust off some of, the, some of these uh, Bowman cards we got of him, I feel like, a while ago? He was never, I mean, I don't know, pitchers don't sell as well in the secondary market as their hitting counterparts, but I feel like no one was really, you know, too excited about getting his autos or his cards. There's always someone else to chase for the Yankees, but, but yeah. So far, oh, nice, Kevin. What's the market looking like that on that? I guess I pulled you a gilded red auto. Of Gil. All right, next box. More freshman flash, Jordan. I mean, I guess if he wins Rookie of the Year, that could be a nice boost. Whatever the value is. There's Joe Palumbo. Rookie auto for Texas. That's going to be for Joe. Joe Lawson with Joe Palumbo. So these cards are kind of sticking together a little bit. Bo Bichette rookie card. I cut. There's a Randy Arzarena as a Cardinal. That's gonna. Those are gonna go to Cassandra. And here's our next autograph. It's Jose Rodriguez, Victor and the Angels. That's an autograph. So you got at least one. There's Mark McGuire, die cut. This is to 25. Nice. 13 out of 25. Uh, that's Cardinals edition. That's going to go to Cassandra. Yeah. Joe. Pulled by Joe for Joe. I think his base to 99 goes for about 100. Wow. What could the out of five go for then? I guess he is a Yankee. That, even, even if you're a pitcher, that'll probably help your value. There's a Boba Shed uh, refractor, nice for the Blue Jays. Toronto, that's going to be for Bob. All right, another box down, more to go.
What what would good what would good value be? Jason Mingus is plus six thousand, but I'm not sure if he's coming back anytime soon. I do. Chad, you want to come down and and help me out? I might not be be done with this break by the time you fly down. I don't know. Colson Montgomery plus six thousand. Evan Carter maybe plus now. See, there isn't a lot of good value here. I feel like you got to go at least ten to one before before it gets spicy, right? What about the NL rookie race? Who do you think the NL Rookie of the Year favorite is? I think he just got called up, right, Malloy? They might not get the requisite number of... Well, what do they have to do to get qualified as a rookie? Maybe just be a qualifying hitter and pitcher? That's right, Chad. It's the Cubs pitcher, Shota. Imanaga at plus 160 is your best odds, but Raft, DraftKings has him at plus 115, MGM has him at plus 120. Next is Paul Skeens at plus 350. Could be interesting. Another Japanese pitcher, this, this one for the Dodgers, Yamamoto, Yoshinobu Yamamoto is at plus 600. He's third. Skeens is ahead of him. Um, Jared Jones is plus 1,700. Mason Wynn plus 2,500. Hmm, get maybe Gavin Stone at 55 to one. Would that be some value, plus 5,500? If you look at the numbers, his surface stats don't look very good, but his last handful of starts have been, have been really great. If he keeps it up, maybe. Uh, your uh, Jordan Alvarez Astros. That'll be all of those will go to Simon. I think he added a sinker. He has an elite changeup and a pretty decent mid nineties fastball. But that four seamer, I, from my understanding, is a little kind of doesn't have movement. It's a little too too straight. But adding adding the the sinker, which uh, I guess comes out of the same arm slot as his elite changeup, just enough of the difference to, uh, to change enough speeds and movement and position. There's Rogelio Armenteros, Astros. That's going to go to Simon. So I think that's helped kind of turn things around for him. There's a Brandon Crawford, orange, a little color match with the Giants. It's 25, Devin with the Giants. And there's your other autograph, Alex Young. Rookie auto for Joe and the Diamondbacks. Kind of looks like Clayton Kershaw's autograph. These cards don't shuffle as nicely. Luis Robert is a rookie in this one. It's going to go to Chris and the White Sox. Luis Robert, all he, all he needs to do is just stay healthy. That's been the, that's been the issue for him.
All right, why don't, uh, let's take a look at uh, Cy Young odds. A.L. Cy Young, who do you think the favorite is? At plus 180. Second is Corbin Burns at plus 450. Tanner Hawk, plus 1200. Luis Castillo, plus 1200. Seth Lugo, plus 1,500. Cole Reagans, plus 1,600. It just goes up from there. Luis Heel, plus 2,000. Logan Gilbert, 25 to 1, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, that's right. Tariq Skubal. Believe it or not, that Tigers pitcher is the current favorite to win AL Cy Young. I know we've pulled a lot of you who got the Tigers or got randomized the Tigers and breaks. I know a lot of you've got Tariq Scoobles, rookie auto. So dig through your collection, dust off your Tariq Scoobles and root for him to win AL Cy Young. Tanner Hawk too. I think he's, I think he's only what? I don't think he's been in the league too long. We might have, you might have seen some of his stuff. Round one of the, the Memorial Tournament presented by Workday in Ohio, Muirfield, Ohio, maybe? The Jack Nicholas design course or something like that? All right, Betts breaking out of a slump. Had a big homer today. And the auto is Andres Munoz. Rookie auto for Chad Da and the Padres. Oh, is he the Mariners closer now? Here's a Luis Robert. Tariq should win Comeback Player of the Year as well. Is he coming off Tommy John? And there's Jordan Alvarez insert refractor. Jordan Alvarez rookie card, base rookie card. Wow, he did have the Tommy John. Nice. Well, good for him. And it's kind of kind of crazy. There's a uh, there's Danny Mendick, rookie auto for Chris and the White Sox. And a Luis Robert refractor. Nice. The kind of stuff we want to see. All right, another box. Thank you. 
I don't think the odds changed much since the last time we talked about the NL Cy Young, but NL Cy Young, who's the leader? Second place at plus 700 is Tyler Glass now. But this player, this pitcher, NL pitcher, at plus 240. Imanaga is plus 1300. Ranger Suarez plus 1300. Max Freed plus 1300, as is Chris Sale. Dylan Cease plus 1900. Logan Webb 20 to 1. Aaron Nola 25 to 1. Sonny Gray 25 to 1. Freddie Peralta 25 to 1. Yoshinobu 30 to 1, as is Zach Gallen. But this pitcher, 240, plus 240. Current favorite, according to Vegas, to win the NL Cy Young Award. Any guesses? Yep, Kevin's got it. Zach Wheeler. Zach Wheeler, plus 240. Look at this. They got Zach Wheeler, plus 240. Ranger Suarez is plus 1,300. Aaron Nola, plus 2,500. Three of the, of the, I guess, presumably five regular starters for the Phillies. Uh, you know, they've got, well, two of the five starters are in the top five of uh, betting favorites for the Cy Young. And Aaron Nola, obviously, is no slouch. What a rotation. And they've got all the, they got all the bats, too. All right, we got a Tiger. We got a Dario uh, Agrazal, rookie auto for David and the Detroit Tigers. There's Robbie Ray, 99 out of 299, Diamondbacks edition going to Joe. Did it hit a guy? There's Gavin Lux, he's trying to turn a corner. Coming off that, that ACL. Right, yeah, it's like, it's like Smoltz, Maddox, and Glavin. It's like that mid-90s. It's current Phillies rotation, like the mid '90s Braves rotation. Here's Zach Collins, rookie auto for the White Sox. That's going to be for Chris. Four twelve out of four ninety nine refractor autograph. Is that our first numbered autograph? I think it might be. I think we've been just. Oh no, we had. No, I think that might have been our first, first, uh, first numbered auto. Here's a Shohei Otani refractor. We'll send that. We'll sleeve that. It's pretty good. There's a Randy Arozarena hyper. Nice. Cardinals. He's struggling a little bit this year with the Rays, but not sure what that is. Rays have just been struggling in general. It's going to go to the Cardinals. That'll be for Cassandra. We got Tommy Edmond, blue to 150. That'll be for Cassandra. All right, halfway through the first case. Got about another 30 ish minutes to go for the first case, and then another hour for the second case.
All right. Um, who do you think your current AL MVP favorite is at plus 200? Second place is plus 220. So there's two players right next to each other in the uh, as favorites in the betting market. And then third place is Gunnar Henderson plus 650. So there's a little bit of separation between the first two and the third favorite. Bobby Wood Jr. plus 700. Kyle Tucker, then it jumps to plus 1200 for Kyle Tucker. Then it jumps to plus uh, 30 to 1, plus 3,000 for Jose Ramirez. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. You mean the, the thicker card here? We're going to find out in a second here. Because uh, there's a Miguel Rojas. Nice. Marlins edition to 99. We got a Jordan Yamamoto autograph. For a second, I thought he was going to be, this is for Coppola, might have been a, might have been someone who merged as a solid pitcher, but I think he's kind of fallen off the, fallen off the, the baseball plan. Maybe he's injured. Yeah, it's from Hawaii. And we've got a Ichiro Retro Rookie Chrome Relic card. Wow. Nice. On a thicker cardstock here, Seattle. That'll be for Bob. That's really cool. Game used. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here. There's a Luis, a couple of Luis Roberts. And we got a Randy Arozarreno rookie autograph, blue, for Cassandra and St. Louis. Twenty-three out of one fifty. Nice. So nice box. Yeah. The Ichiro, the Randy Arozarena. Here's a, here's Chad, Chad Dawes' favorite player, Kyle Seeger. He will pay top dollar for all of your Kyle Seegers. There's a Jordan. All right, nice, nice box. Next box. <laughs> Chad Dawson, you can burn that card. 
Bur burn it right into your, your, your heart. Which is where Kyle Seeger lives. With Chad Daw. In Chad's heart. No guesses on AL MVP favored. It's Aaron Judge at plus 200. His teammate Juan Soto at plus 220. What a, what a season that pair is having. He does live rent free and you're gonna pay a dollar to burn that card. I think, uh, I think Kyle Seeger once kicked Chad Dawes dog. Whoa. What are you doing here? I've been here the whole time. <laughs> you here to pack sack? No. Hmm. Do you have a case left? I've <laughs> got a case and a half left. Oh, okay. Wow. The best Mariner September when the Mariners are 30 games out of the playoffs. Mm. Peyton on Kyle Seeger. Sure. Thanks. Uh, Kevin says hi. Hola. Chad, you got your wish. Chad, Chad was saying... This break is taking too long? 40 minutes. Well, no. I, it was when we started the break. He's like, you need a pack stacker. I was like, I don't have a pack stacker. But then the break gods whispered in your ear, and now here you are. All right, so that top camera should be kind of pointing at Nick's hands. Nick Jaspi with a with what is now a rare appearance on the live stream. We got Tom Eshelman. Orioles auto for Mark Russo. We got a Randy or is there any autograph? Blue. Oh, rookie. Yeah. That'll be, put that in the Big Hits channel on Slack. A lot of blasts from the past year. Kyle Shore, Brasilla Cub back in 2020. I mean, it is kind of funny, but it's not that long ago. And no, it's not, but so many changes, yeah. We got a redemption, which will most likely be expired. But we'll still send it to the Dodgers. Gavin Lux. I know they this. extended some of the redemptions. Oh, so you may still not be able to get this. I don't know if it's 2020 or 2021 they're, just, they're starting with them. David Larson. Now we just got to hope that Gavin Lux has a good rest of the year. Edwin Rios was able to field a baseball with his power. He'd be on a team somewhere, but he's not. I guess DH, but I mean, he's only good against righties. I'm not sure how many teams want to platoon their, their DH. It's 2020, and Victor's saying they're good for years. Good for 10 years. That's good. Okay, well then there you go. Gavin Lux. Hopefully he has a strong uh, rest of the season. He's kind of getting there. But he was on... Poor UI by YouTube putting that heart in the middle of the chat there. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the worst thing. I have to look at the, the chat yeah. above my head to see Bad it. Bad UI. Sometimes I, like, miss, there's, like, a key word that's missing. That was yeah. definitely necessary. All right. And there's Lorenzo Kane to 299. That'll go to the Brew Crew. I think the Brewers are the only team that I need to get an auto for. I did last three spots. Get a uh, get a hitless insurance. If I don't get them a single autograph, I give them forty dollars back to them. Whoa. Final three spots. They sold like hotcakes. Wow. But two teams have already. I think so. Two teams have already hit, and now. It's just, uh, it's Jalen Davis. I was going to give away a spot, but then it's just like, I don't know. I don't know if that moves the needle for people. I'm 
Rex Jalen Davis, Devin with the Giants. Like opening packs. This is like when. Oh man, the Rex, where's Rex? Oh, he's if he he's gonna be so pissed if he checks in an hour later and he's just like, what? Yeah, it's like Nick was here for like 30 minutes ripping open packs and chatting with the crew. You missed it. It's like, no, you're lying. Watch the video. Check the tape. There's Aaron Saval to 50. Luis Robert, freshman flash. We'll sleeve and top load those later. As with the Saval, which is gold. Simon, man, back in 2020, not too long ago, still the Indians. And he's now with... Now he's a guardian. I think he's still with Cleveland. Oh, I see what you're saying. Saval. Yeah, yeah, I'm just yeah. saying, it's just... I thought you meant he was on any team. Just seems like years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick Solak, rookie auto. Rangers, that's going to be for Joe Lawson. My dad was sorting, and he was putting the Astros in the NL Central. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they changed divisions, like, like dad, a like long time ago. ago. Yeah. He's like, know. well, it's just this division realignment. I'm like, that was, like, 25 years ago. Yeah. Oh, man. Or was, were they in the NL? They were in the NL Central, right? Not the West. Uh, they were in the Dodgers know. division. Yeah, they were in the NL Central. Yeah. yeah. So why did that happen? Why did they go to the AOS? <laughs> I think they were rebalancing the divisions. Was it because of the Nationals? Because they weren't an expansion. No, I don't 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 remember why that happened. I think they were realigning something. One team, or I think it was one division at five. I teams. think it was it was always in balance. Yeah, there's always like a division that had an extra team or something like that. Interesting. And back back then the Astros were kind of terrible. Yeah. And they were like, no one's going to care if we move division. So yeah. they did. And 2020 feels like it's only four years ago, but it feels like 14 years ago. Okay, so AOS only had four teams. Every other Got division it. had five. Or, I don't know. There's some, some, some imbalance somewhere. Jordan Alvarez and a Domingo Leba. Rookie auto for Joe in the Diamond. NL Central had six teams, and AL West only had four. Interesting. I forgot about that. Remember when the Astros had that big hill in center field? I, I uh, with, the, with the flagpole? Yeah. Oh, was, man. There and, was. Like, guys would get injured all the time. But it was such a great, it was like an old school like ballpark from like the 1930s. It was, it, it was just like such a baseball thing. Very so baseball. That was a mistake. Then they were like, oh, we're like, we're a serious baseball team because we're winning now. And so like, I think they changed guys it. Guys are getting injured. Right. Like, they're trying to kick the top fly and they tear right. their ACL. There were some great plays. Like, there, there were some highlight yeah. plays of, like, of guys sprinting backwards, center field holding a hand, running up the hill to catch. There was also some. There's follies, Isan Diaz. There? Yeah, there are some follies out there. Yeah. There are some bloopers. Isan Diaz for Miami, that'll be for Coppola. Remember when the Mariners fans were having to get the 100 lost Astros? Yeah, not anymore. Yeah, the entire AOS sucks this year, though. The Astros are terrible this year. And there's, there's Jesus Tinoco. Everyone remembers him. Rockies, that's going to be for Stephen K. 009 out of 499. I actually don't remember him at all. Yeah, or mm -hmm. I, maybe not suck, but mediocre. Is it? Are they the worst 36 win team in baseball? I mean, if you take into account the, the, the rest of their division, look at the AOS. They're the only team above 500. Wow. What are the Rangers doing? Why are they 30 and 32? And Angels and, Angels and A's are two of the worst five teams. But why can't they hit the ball, Chad? What's going on? 
Did they suddenly, do they need to get their eyes well, checked? Well, it'll be dead in the ball. Did, they, sure. dead, they dead in the ball, and there's like some sort of fog in yeah. Seattle where they can't see and hit the ball? It makes it even worse in Seattle. They hit the ball. That's just... That just must be so frustrating when that pitching is so good. You know the Mariners Paul stadium? Young to 99. I went there for All-Star game last year. Din Tai Fung in the stadium. Wow. Crazy food options at Mariners. At the ball. Is that why there's no one in the stands? Zing. Because they're all eating. They're, they're all eating the good food that's there? There's some awesome food. Compared to Angel Stadium and Dodger Stadium, which... Logan Webb rookie auto. Nice. Does not have the kind of cuisine. No, they, I mean, I think they tried with that area in center field at Dodger Stadium. Logan Webb to 25. Nice one for my rivals. Devin with the Giants. No, I wanted to, but... I heard it's really good, right? I mean, we have to... Chad, will, will you house us if we go there and see a bit? Another Logan Webb autograph. This time, just a base one. I want to I want to go to a go to a Mariners game with Chad and listen to him in real time just melt down about the Mariners. Reggie Jackson It almost feels like the like the Dodgers in the 60s when like Sandy Koufax would have to basically throw nine inning complete game shutouts just to just for the Dodgers to win like one nothing. Uh, David M with the A's. Gets the relic. Oh, you got a spare room. Nice. My cousins live in Seattle. Come oh. on, go. All right. Chad, you got you got the spare room for Joe. I'll stay with my cousin. And... What if it was like? What if it was Dodgers Mariners World Series? Oh. There's Giro Shell at a twenty-five. That'd be kind of an intense one. That would be, actually. I think Seattle fans are... Seattle fans could get fired up. Fired up. Yeah, they could get really fired up if that happened. Better not. <laughs> All right. Next box. Is this the first box of the... No, no the last, last box of the first case. We got Nico Horner. Rookie auto for the Cubos. Eugene with the Cubs. 37 out of 150. Aaron strike out 18 times with the Dodgers. Well, I mean, Mariners have good pitching staff too. It might be, it might be one nothing ball games, two one games. Here's Chris Paddock Green to 99 for Chad Daw and the Padres. Anyone outside of Seattle and Los Angeles would hate it. Maybe a, what a boring World Series. Vegas, yeah, would, yeah, Vegas would set the run line at like, it'd be like five and a half. It'd be like 10 o'clock. Oh, wow. Yeah, that'd be brutal. No one would watch it. It'd have four strains in last year. There's Lewis Thorpe. For the Twins, Twins Auto for Barry and the Twins. Victor says, we have a spare room to, wait, are you in Seattle? No, I don't remember where Victor is. Oh, okay, all right, so we've got options. Yeah, if if the if 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 the uh, if the negativity gets overwhelming, Victor, we can all, we'll just pop over to yours. So this is a refractor, Brandon McKay rookie. Someone was saying the other day that he's just doing pitching. He's kind of turned the corner from his injury history, and he's been looking decent in the minors. So, maybe someone to think about. Well, I have retired from pack stacking, if you remember, because last year's d disaster at the national. What happened? I don't even know if I want to say. Remember, I had. Was well, the, oh, these are the breakers, the light break. Yeah, I no, remember. No, no, no. Was it a chrome break? No, yeah, but I had accidentally put the. You had, cards you had I stacked opened. it and then you put it away. 
and then we had to show everyone everything yeah. all over again. Ah, but that could have been. No, that that wasn't very disastrous. But it was like, oh, they're still getting shipped from Chicago. It was just. Yeah. I, was, I felt real embarrassed. That's what I meant to say. Was he in Desmond? No. I, we, it, was, it was a road game. It was distracting. It was we're a road game. We were in that little pod. Yeah. Ian Desmond to 299. Oh, Devin's your brother in law. Nice. Good. The, the family that breaks together stays together. It's a good activity. You were also on the left side. Yeah. Usually, you usually don't. Yeah, we're usually. Usually, pack sacking on the right side. There's Joe Palumbo, rookie auto. <laughs> right. How have we not brought up the great Kyle Lewis in this break? Where I think we've seen a couple base Kyle Lewis. He just hasn't. Shown himself auto autograph wise for us to really discuss him. Here's Logan Allen, rookie auto. Cleveland, this is for you. Simon with the Guardians. He's in the Rangers now, Kyle Lewis. Oh, is he? Right. I, I don't know. He's not with the Mariners anymore. That's for no. sure. I think he went to the Diamondbacks, didn't he? Oh, well, maybe the Diamondbacks. And then they tr maybe they moved on from him. There's Luis Robert, just needs to stay healthy. Never know, though. Look at Jerks and Profar. He was a bu total bust. He was the number one prospect in baseball for years. But he didn't win the Rookie of the Year. Kyle Lewis won Rookie of the Year. Yeah, but Profar was the number one prospect. Yeah. And then, like, ten years later, he finally puts it together. Sometimes, sometimes you're just a late bloomer. It happens. There's Dustin May. Thomas, is, Thomas was here today. Yeah. He started, started. Oh, okay. We're going to clean that. Nice. He said he's not, uh, he's foregoing his last year of eligibility. So I was like, Thomas, I hope we, after the end of the summer, we never see you again. There's Dan Vogelbach to 25. Because, uh,. He hopes to get drafted. He said he's talking to a few teams. Oh, Devin says his knees are shot, so maybe he will not. Like on the back of his baseball card, it better say something about Gatsby. <laughs> well, like they better put a little blurb about us. I hope so. Um, like he worked at Gatsby's for four years. Avid baseball card collector. Yeah. Worked at a hobby shop in Hermosa Beach. I would love that. Thomas said that if he gets Bowen draft cards. That he might, with a one of one, put Go Jaspi yeah, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was just like, Eat something. Yeah, I was, Thomas said I, I might not even sign it. I just might write Go Jaspi or maybe oh, at Jaspi's breaks. Or he should sign it, but he should put like imagine if they, our, uh, our, our Instagram handle in there or something. A like rival that. breaker pulled it. Oh they man. Advertise Here's Tony Gonsolin. All right, would they even post that on their social media? Or it should just be like, jaspiscasebreaks.com has the best breaks and best right. prices or something. <laughs> Tony's <laughs> something gone. Just I mean, over the top. we'll probably let him come over here and sign like his stack of cards. Yeah. There's Tony Gonsolin, rookie auto for the Dodgers, working his, the cat man working his way back from injury, David Larson. Um, our colleague Thomas, some of you may know him, kind of looks like Dustin May from afar. Uh, really good baseball player. Pitched a couple seasons at or Cal Nico, State Nico Northridge. Mannion, if you're more of a All right, sure. Nico Mannion works too. And there's uh, Robert Duggar. I almost, I almost read, just read that as Roger Dunn. I saw R and D U, and I was like, that's the golf store. No, but this is uh, Robert Duggar. 15 out of 25 for the Marlins. Orange Shimmer. And so, uh, so yeah, he's getting some major league attention. Do you like that, by the way? Oh, you missed it. That. No. I don't like that either. <laughs> Why do they do that? And I don't like the line on the that golf broadcast. Some of them do. 
when they show the oh the, the putting line. line. Yeah, I don't like that when either. They show that like what the desired line is. No, yeah, I don't I like the design. Get the desired line out of here. Oh, nice Luis Robert hyper parallel. It's gonna go to Chris in the White Sox. So Thomas Bain is his name. B A I N T O N. You can see, you can look up his stat. Um, had a lot of walks this year. Thomas was not pleased about that. I was like, what, what happened, Thomas? He's like, I don't know. He's like, I had like 14 walks all last season and this season. He had 14 walks like within his first five games. Jack Flaherty to 75, Blue Wave. But he might be, uh, I think he was, I think the MLB draft on, uh, there's Belly to 99. MLB drafts on July 13th. He doesn't think he'll be, I don't think he's going to be first day, he admitted. Maybe second or third day, should look out for his name. Oh, did I... I skip a Bo Bichette refractor. Here's uh, Aaron's brother, Austin Nola. That'll be for Bob and the M's. I wonder if they'll ever play together. Have you been pulling him? Yeah. Randy? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh man, I forgot him too. I mean, I figured I pulled the autograph so then I can slide on <laughs> being diligent about the base cards. I think I pulled a few, but I'm looking for refractors for him at this point. There's the Bo Bichette. Just an insert, though. And here's Gavin Lux, rookie auto, Dodgers. All right, now room for Gavin Lux to really turn a corner. 29 out of 50. Yeah, I'm at second base now. You can't play shortstop. Goes to David Larson and my Dodgers. Jordan, Trout Refractor. All right, next box. Jordan. Luis Robert Blue Wave. Nice. I mean, when he's healthy, I think he came back the other day and like hit a home run, like first game back or something like that. It's just gotta stay healthy. White Sox, Chris with the White Sox. Jordan, insert. All those going to Simon. There's Adrian Morajon, 23 out of 2.99 for the Padres. That'll be for Chad Daw. Future closer, maybe, someday. And... Tiny auto, Brian Abreu for the Astros. Abraham Toro had a tiny auto too. Maybe they were all signing together. And they were like, how small can we make these autos? That's uh, Simon with the Astros. Fernando Tatis Jr. Refractor. And a Robert Duggar, another Robert Duggar autograph for uh, Coppola and the Marlins. And base Luis Robert. The finals game one was boring, huh? Yeah. I didn't really watch them. They, Mavs cut it to like an eight-point deficit somewhere in the third quarter. 
they came out at a half firing, but then it slipped back to like 20 plus points like minutes after that. There's Austin's brother, Aaron Nola. 79 out of 99 for the Phillies. That's for Jared. You know, there was a bet like um, Mavs to come back one game in the series and win when they're trailing by 10 points. It was like plus 700. Wow. I guess they've done that a number of times during the yeah. playoffs. I thought that was a fun bet. There's Tony Gonsolin, 150 out of 150. The cat man, he likes cats. And it goes to David Larson. He's got cats. Likes them. Has cat shirts, cat socks. Wears them during spring training on off days. Forget who is who he was rooming with. It was a player that got traded to the Blue Jays, but he had to send his cats to his parents because that player was allergic to cats. Alex Wood, maybe, or Ross something. Sean Murphy. Ross Stripling. Ross Stripling. That's exactly right. It was Ross Stripling. He was allergic to cats, so the cat man could not. Come on, Ross. Yeah. There's an Otani hyper. I mean, maybe some might say that Tony Gonsolin got Ross Stripling traded to the Blue Jays on account of the cats. Another Luis Robert. By the way, there, there's no driving range at this golf course? They have like nets. Nets? Like oh. a net set up and you just hit into like a net. Like a little bay with like a mat and a net and like when, 10 feet I mean, away from you? This was two or three, four years ago when I went. They had those, so. All right, that works. I, I can work with that. Yeah. Luis Robert. Luis Castillo, 275, Reds edition going to Victor. There you go, Victor. Jordan. Got Andrew Heaney, Angels Edition to 25. This would be. It's gonna go to Victor and the Angels. That's with the Rangers. Is he back with the Angels? No. No, that's someone else. That's Tyler Anderson. No. I'm thinking of former Dodgers who became an Angel. I think Tyler Anderson's a Giant now. Oh. I don't know, these guys move around a lot. These lefties. Yeah, these journeyman, middle of the rotation, back of the rotation lefties. Heaney went to Dodgers, and then like the Yankees, and then the Rangers. Yeah. Here's Ronhel Ravello for the uh, Cardinals. That's going to go to Cassandra, the Redbirds. Die cuts. Is Sonny Gray having a really good year, or was that last year? I think, he, I think both. Another Tony Gonsolin. <laughs> now, David Larson with the Dodgers is really rooting for Tony Gonsolin to come back from his injury and have a really good second half. 10 out of 25. You started your Tony Gonsolin PC whether you intended to or not. All right, another box. Yeah, remember this guy? Yeah, he was. He was hobby hot for a whole summer. <laughs> hobby hot for the entire summer. Every, like the prime COVID yeah, summer. everybody wanted Aristides Aquino. Everyone hit, wanted the Reds. Like, he hit like 20 home runs in yeah, I mean, two months. Yeah, it was Something just it was crazy. ridiculous. 
And he, then like the next year, he wasn't even on the team. I mean, it was definitely a flash. It was a flash. But he might be playing in like Korea now. I think I think so. I think he's in Asia somewhere. Yeah. Here's a uh, Chad Dawes' favorite Mariner, Kyle Seeger. Send all your Kyle Seegers to us. We will take them in a box and donate them to Chad Daw. Here's Brandon McKay autograph. Rays, Alan Murdoch. Like I said, I think might be turning the corner from injuries and just doing pitching only in the minors now. Might still be a late bloomer. Or Ronald Acuna. Dodgers' Corey Seager went down with a hammy yesterday. <laughs> just, just grinding Chad's gears. No, Chad hates Kyle, Kyle Seager. Here's Dylan Cease. I think he's having a nice year. This is White Sox rookie edition Dylan Cease. Hyper parallel. Chris with the White Sox. 15 Tony Gonsolin. You're, 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 you're rooting for him. You're hoping that you're hoping that he becomes what he once was. Here's Nico Horner, rookie autograph for Eugene and the Cubbies. Yeah. Rookie auto. I think he's playing really well. By the way, gang, um, that NT is only four spots left. We're giving away four. So we're only selling six spots outright. Over half of you will get extra spots. That fills the half case break. Um, finest soccer, only two teams away, two big teams left. And as you see in the schedule, if you buy Real Madrid and the Juve combo, Here's Travis Lakin's autograph, autograph for uh, Eugene and the Red Sox. If you buy Real Madrid and Juve, you'll get Liverpool for free, $90 value. If you buy Barcelona, you'll get PSG, $100 value. And there's a six-team giveaway, including the, which includes the $100 Inter Milan. So if you buy like those expensive teams, you're going to get two bonus teams, and you still have a chance at some extra teams as well. So that's down, just the, to, the, down to the two expensive teams left. That's a really quick break. That's only like 20, 30 minutes. There's Shogo Akiyama, rookie auto for the Reds. That's gonna go to Victor. <laughs> yeah, if you're not a soccer fan, that might all just sound Greek to you. 11 out of 25. But, uh, but no, <laughs> those are not baseball teams, finest. Uh, UEFA club competition soccer. So uh, you can get those. Only two teams left in soccer. Here's Hunter Dozier. Gold shimmer, gold wave to 50. For the Royals, that's for Chris. Chad's still waiting for the uh, Tatis Jr. autograph. There's Kyle Lewis. He's fallen on hard times. Did I pass an auto? Did I pass an auto? That's what Victor says. Oh. Barbara! Barbara! So we had the show go, and what was the auto before that? Um, yeah, no, I think this was the first auto, the Red yeah, Sox auto. I don't think we missed one. Travis Lakins. Let's see one, yeah. It's incredible, Bob. Everything you guys... Here's a uh, black and white Tatis Jr. Barbara, are you seeing this? <laughs> Well, 
I don't see it in this deck. I think this is something that I, I think we have the two from the back. Um, you can, uh, if you want, you can uh, rewind the, there's a DVR function on the YouTube stream, you can rewind and make sure we pulled the two, the Red Sox guy and the Red guy. Here's James. Marvel. Marvel? Is he an Avenger? Or is it Marvel? But then Nick Fury, Nick, Nick Fury says, I think Captain Marvel says it's Marvel. What? Yeah, she says it's Marvel. What do you mean, Captain? Captain in Marvel this, in the movie? in real life? Yeah. Brie Larson. Well, no, she's Captain Marvel. <laughs> but then Nick Fury was like, no one's gonna call it that. It's gonna be Marvel. James, here's James Marvel to four ninety nine. That's for the Pirates, Joe Lawson. Why wouldn't people call it Marvel? I don't know. You gotta talk to Bree. Here's a freshman Flash, Luis Robert. And now we've only had one auto. Yeah, now we, oh, there's a second auto right here. There's Colin Posh. Allen with the Rays. Um, we can also count autos on the recap. There should be 48. Although, you know, they always they, they say on average, I think. But if we're, we only have 47, we'll go through, we'll go through everything again. Yeah. We better sell that NT now. Have to sell that NT now that we have all sorts of time. And that finest. And here's our second auto. That's uh, Jose Rodriguez for the Halos. That'll be for Victor. Right, right, right. All that talk about Real Madrid's and Juve's and Liverpool's and Barcelona's and Paris Saint-Germain's could throw people. And our second autograph of the box, Justin Dun 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 Dun. Seattle Mariners. Blue Wave autograph. That's going to be for Bob. 101 out of 150. Oh, man. Big thanks, Nick. Lifesaver. Lifesaver. Chicken before, right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. It's really good. It's yeah. a, it's a little expensive yeah. for fried chicken, but it's although really, the portion is really portion's good. really good though. Yeah. I had it in like two meals. I got the boneless ones. They're like massive. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a Korean company. Yeah. Some of the flavors I. And yeah. I didn't know what they were, so I kind of just skimmed over them. I just did the. I haven't been too adventurous with the flavors, but I've only just done the regular. Yeah. Fried chicken, but which is good enough. Oh. So it just comes breaded. Yeah, just a regular fried oh. chicken, but 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 really, really good. There is a Ron Hell Ravello. Cassandra with the Cardinals. I believe I got the honey garlic. Ooh, that sounds good. We 
Jones, Robert, and a Hunter Harvey. Rookie auto for the Orioles, Mark Russo with the O's. So these are going oh, there. A bucket. And can I have the autograph stack? Sure. I don't need the Rosarina. I'll count that as well. Alright, final box. I've got three top loaders left. Perfect. Perfect amount of top loaders. Flash, Luis Robert, Mookie Betts had a homer today, Sam Hilliard is your rookie auto for the Rockies, Stephen K with the Rocks. Okay, we're at 49 autographs. 49? That's actually more than... Yeah, because you're supposed to be 48, right? Yeah, so I don't oh, know. Oh, no, hold on. There might be a couple relics in there, too. Yeah, I think I... If you counted the relics, that would have been 49, actually. I, I took out the relics. I think I might have been there, too. Jose Altuve to 50, 21 out of 50. For the Strohs, that'll be for Simon. You'll get all those Jordan Alvarez's as well. And a Kyle Lewis autograph just to troll Chad Da. Rookie auto, that's going to go to Bob and the Mariners. And that's the break, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a lot of stuff that I'll sleeve later so our shipping team can top load and uh, sort those out. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Nice, thank you Nick for the count. And here's a quick little recap of both of the cases. Thanks everyone for watching, for breaking. I know this was on the site for a little bit, so I appreciate everybody. Uh, thanks Nick, appreciate Nick pack stacking. Helped us out big time. There are a couple nice relics in there. Some Luis Robert color, more autographs, Logan Webb, Nico Horner. So yeah, I know this was, was marinating on the site for a little bit. I appreciate everyone's patience on it. Thanks for getting it done. And of course we had the nice Randy Arzarania auto, rookie autograph. Cardinals edition, 23 out of 150. Very nice, ladies and gentlemen. I think the only uh, team that had insurance that didn't hit was Chris and the Brewers. So Chris, $40 of break credit, go on your way, check your email. It's, it'll arrive as a gift card code for 40 bucks. It's not gonna expire. You don't have to use all of it at once, et cetera, et cetera. Thanks for watching, thanks for breaking with us, everyone. I'll see you next time for the next one, bye-bye.